Hi Creative Birdies, how are you guys doing today? It's been way too long, right? I agree. It's been too long. I've been away for too long. I miss each and every one of you guys. And thank you for those that have been checking up on me. I decided that I was going to come in my room, turn on the computer, but not search on the computer. I decided that I was going to come turn on the camera and say hello to you guys and not do any searching on the computer or any business or any emails or anything like that because if I do that then I get stuck. I get stuck on the internet, I get stuck on YouTube and then I become a tube head. And I don't want that. Last night I'll, all I did was watch a load of documentaries on parents um, of adopted children. There was this, There's this family of six blind children that they adopted from all around the world. A few of them were Asian from some part of Asia. One little girl, so cute. I think she's about 15 or 16 years old and I think her name was Abby um, and she's blind and they adopted her from India and they found her in the trash. But the story for me watching that documentary was very, very um, inspiring and then I got stuck watching a lot of documentaries on people that have a hard, not a hard time but disabilities that people have, uh, especially children. Um, I was also watching a lady from New Zealand that goes to visit Thailand once a year and she's been doing it for 15 years and she visits uh, a little boy by the name of, that they name Fish Boy. And I think the little boy's name is Manil, something like that. That story was very, very touching and inspiring. And that's what I'm saying. If I get on the internet, I start watching things just like you guys, and then I get lost, and then you guys don't find me. But today, we're going to start up first. Well, well we're going to do... That's probably not smart to have that there. We're going to do... Um, I forgot. Oh, well, we need to do our postcards. I came to share uh, what we did in Patreon. In our class over there, I teach classes on Patreon. Uh, I also that's where I sell my postcards. I also sell my postcards here and on Facebook, Instagram, and all sorts of places. But this is our twenty dollar class. You won't believe what the materials are made out of. If you're guessing, I want to say I'm almost ninety eight percent positive that you won't guess what the material is made from. Now, you could probably figure out and make something similar, but if you take the class, there's four classes you would have to take. It's a beautiful technique, and it's just it's just a really, really unique, unique that came out of my mind way of creating this bracelet. It's pliable, it's beautiful, it's me. This is my spirit here on this bracelet basically okay so that was a self promo and I also would like to do my postcards so let's start that and we have here our background that we paint on and I know that we started some postcards and I put this on my desk because I need to start doing this I have it there, but I haven't started it. Okay. Might put that. Oh, there they are. I can see them now. Hang on. Now, if you're new, my name is Sigrid. My channel name is Secret at Creative Birdie because my nickname 
is secret. Okay, and I teach on Patreon. That's where I make my main money. That's where I get my extra money from. Most of us YouTubers, we we have to find another way of making income, and Patreon is a great way. So on this channel, I create a lot of things, and I actually have over 900 videos that you guys can watch. Um, but today we're going to create postcards, which I've been doing a series of creating postcards. And I'm out of breath. <coughs> I need some water. These postcards are for anybody to purchase. You can purchase them through here. You can pay me through PayPal. You can pay me through Facebook. You can mail me a check. As soon as I receive the check, you'll receive your postcard. Um, any way that you would like to purchase a postcard, and if just let me know. I also, what we do here is I create the postcards. They're all handmade, one of a kind. They're created from recycled material. Each and every postcard is individually unique in its own way. And I give you guys a chance to pick which postcard you would like. So, Patreons have already paid. Whichever one of them chooses first, they get first dibs. And if you guys pay me right, right away as well, you get first dibs as well. As long as I have the payment received, you have first dibs. Oh, when I, and, and you can let me know either down below in the comments, you would like a card, how you would like to pay, you can email me at secretsoto at yahoo.com. You can also find my email down below. You can message me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can message me anywhere, actually. And all those links are down below. Or you can join my Patreon. Enough chitter-chattering. My jaw is going to fall off and your ears are going to explode. I do many, 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 many layers of paint. And I just start with whatever tickles me fancy at the second. But I also, what I would like to do as well, is pull out some more cards. More um, backgrounds is what I'm trying to say. backgrounds, more papers, more cardboards to upcycle and turn into our postcards. So I start here. I'll start on my jelly plate. It's over here on this side. A lot of purple, it might overwhelm the whole thing, and that's okay. These are just backgrounds. Okay. Breathe in and breathe out. Still have the same napkin. Thank you for all the messages that I've been getting. If I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm I'm good. I'm good. It was my birthday weekend, and we got to go out to eat. We had some family emergencies. Those are dealt with. They're just life experiences that we go through. And that's why I've been away. 
Oh, that one's pretty cool. That one's almost just basically done, I think. That's going to be a postcard. I don't want to get my row ball messy. So usually these postcards, if you're new here, it takes me a good uh, about 15 to 16 episodes in the series of postcards, basically 16 videos. And what I'm starting to do, and the way you can find all the videos from every single postcard, is there's a playlist called Creating Postcards Together. And the way I've categorized the postcards for the month of etc., whatever month it is, is I'm starting to put an emoji in the front, then the title, and then the same emoji um, in the middle. And each and every single video that belongs together will have the same emojis, same title, and then it'll say part one, and then the next video will have the same emoji as the first video, and then it'll say, say part, part two. So mainly we're in the month of March, so now I'm doing March po postcards, so it'll be I want to say right now a sunflower and it'll say March postcards part one and those will all be in a playlist called creating postcards together well, that one's cool this one's done that's done see I find them from the previous month, I find that I've done already some postcards. I'm having two postcards sent back to me from the same lady. It seems like the weather's gotten strange and two postcards got stuck to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair it because I asked her if I could repair it and she said sure because I would like to repair my work. Um, I find my work and my art very personal, very, very personal, and so I would like the chance of repairing my own art, if you guys give me the chance, because once it's yours, it's yours. Do whatever you want to it. But if I am given a choice, I would love to repair it myself. So she said yes, and she's going to send it back, and I'm going to repair it. And then what I'm going to do for now on, when you guys have more than one order of postcards, because I think she bought about, I want to say about 10 or 11 postcards. Um, maybe nine. I'm not sure. I just know it was a lot of postcards that she purchased, and I'm very grateful for her. Uh... So next time I'm going to put wax paper in between each postcard so that that doesn't happen again. Because I feel bad. I feel bad for the recipient and I feel bad for my art. Oh, pretty, pretty. Let's do it all the way through. There's no wrong way or right way to play with your jelly plate. I've been asked that many, many times. You guys think that our prints come out better than yours, but n honestly, we all start somewhere, and the jelly plate is just an extension of your techniques that you eventually start learning more and more and more what your techniques are, what your styles are. And if you don't have a style, that's perfectly fine as well, because I started that way. Not with jewelry, but with painting. I didn't know what my style was, but deep down, it was there. I just needed to learn to accept my style and work with it. Okay, we're going to continue. For this one, it has a glossy side. I usually like to put gesso on that glossy side, but since I have uh, my roller here, I forget 
my words when I turn on the camera, although I've been doing quite well. Perfect, perfect. I'm just going to continue to add and add and add and add, and that's how I end up with 17 videos. What do you guys do on your spare time? And for some of us, spare time is a few minutes throughout the day, spread throughout the day. I'm wondering if Lisa Beard is still watching my videos. I miss her. I was hoping that she would get back on YouTube. Sometimes you put too much paint. That's okay. Perfectly okay. Look at that was halfway done. And that's okay. Usually I only do one side. You guys, if you've seen my videos, usually only do one side, but there's um, advertisement that I would like to cover. That's going to take a while to dry, and I'm fine with that. And if you guys don't have time, remember you can rewatch the videos later. You guys can create playlists, name them whatever you would like to name them, and watch them later. Another thing that's really, really, really helpful to me is when you guys share on Pinterest my videos. When you guys message your friends with my video link, it really, really helps. It helps to spread the word of my channel for people, to people. It gets to people that just might need that friend in their background or that inspiration that I may or may not be able to give them. Or maybe I could give to them. You never know who you're helping out when you send my my channel link to your friends. So the way to do that is down below, right down there. You click um, share, and then it'll show you a link. You right click the link, and you copy paste. You can go email it to somebody. You can Facebook message it to somebody. You can right click and put it on your timeline or a friend's timeline or in a group. It helps them out hopefully and it helps me out. I've been having loads and loads of what I think is a possibility that I may have either arthritis or fib or I'm the, at the beginning of fibro. These aches that have been around for I want to say almost three months I've been aching daily. Uh, same places it either travels up or travels down my arms and my chest. And I'm started to take some glucosamine. And I'm just hoping that I can fix it myself. It all became one color and that's okay. To me, it's perfectly fine because we're just we're not done. We're not gonna be done for a while. We're not gonna be done until I go, oh. That's done until I fill it in my soul, my artist soul. That's when you guys should know you're done, when you fill it in your artist soul. Matter of fact, let's mush those together. 
So I'm smashing two together and then we'll pull them apart. What did that do? Make me happy. <laughs> That's what that did. That's what that did. Oh. Jelly printing is a stress reliever for me. And it's also an easy way to just get some art done and feel so satisfied and to finish up paints that need to be finished so that we can move on to new and different colors. Oh, I love these. <laughs> you see, we hold on to paints and then they get all gooey and yucky and expire. I'll continue using the paint as long as it doesn't smell like mold. My goodness, are you guys familiar with Kelly Donovan? She has the worst luck with products. Well spent money, well hard earned money is what I'm trying to say. And then she ends up with the crappy product and then the company doesn't even want to help her out. They helped her out with three of the products but the rest she got stuck with which I think is ab absurd to be honest. Absurd. When you go to a restaurant and you purchase from the restaurant you expect your food to be well done, well cooked and you expect your food to have everything that the, that the menu said it was going to have and then you pay, right? Well, same thing goes for the ink, not the inks, the paints that she got. She got the paints that I have. Uh, Diana Reevely, I think that's the paints from Ranger. They came out terrible for her. They look like cottage cheese. It's terrible, terrible. She sent them emails, pictures, and they're ignoring her um, in, a, in a way because they did replace just three. It's like, really? You're going to only replace just three? They re should replace all of it. She didn't pay halfway. She paid all of the, she paid all of the amount and she paid her taxes. And she drove over there. And she decided to buy their product. She should be a happy customer. And if she's not, she should be able to get all of her paints replaced. And if not, then send her back her money. It's annoying. They get these companies get free advertisement from us when we use their products. And then when we're not happy and then we complain about it to them, sometimes they don't answer us and that sucks. And since she's a fellow YouTuber and a friend of mine, I figured I'd mention it here just in case. Uh, what I suggested to her, I don't know if she read it or not, was to hashtag uh, Diana Reevely on Twitter and Instagram. Because she's well known on those in the public eye, if somebody, and if a lot of us hashtag Kelly Donovan's video and then hashtag Diane Reevely and Rangers, then it'll grab their attention. And then they're going to want to replace it for sure. That's the last thing they want. It's the last thing they want is for people to start hashtagging with Kelly Donovan's video link. But she wasn't even, she wasn't even being nasty or anything. She was just showing how terrible the product really is or ended up being for her. I have two bottles and I love them. It just so happened that she got a bad batch and the company really needs to take care of it. They really do need to take care of it. We make them money. Loads of money. And they need to they treat all of their customers very well. Let's see, 
you know, I keep grabbing the same colors over and over. Don't know why. See, this one's all done now. Almost done. We're almost done. That yellow is going to take over, so I'm going to want to put it, put some here. Oh yeah, we're getting mud, a little mud. It's okay. We'll play and work with this. Perfect. Then we'll go on to doing dripping and splashing and all sorts of good stuff. I don't want it, the paint to be taken over because I like the way that one looks so far. So I'm just going to get it in certain spots. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. one as well. It's been a good, good month. It's been a good month. I'm very grateful to be here and been have been here for 44 years. Am I 44? I think I'm 44. I was born in 1975. I think I'm... I think I'm 44. Don't know. I lost my marbles. Every single time I turn on the camera, I lose my marbles. That's pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty and beautiful and bright. And I know that that's not the right words. It's okay, cause I sing to my tune, my own tune. Alright. Okay. Let's play a different play. Mm. Actually. Oh, I want to do this neon, but I already know that this neon is poop. Doesn't work as good. Neon and some white. Ooh, and some inks. Give me one second. See what happens here. I grab that one that we already messed with and put it on top. That's pretty. Oh, Diane. Wakely? Is that the paints I think I'm talking about? Yeah, as a matter of fact, Diane Wakely are the paints from Ranger that did Kelly Donovan wrong. Wrong, I say. Wrong. Okay. What was I going to do? Inks. I want to play with some inks. Most of these inks are bad. 
And for me, I loved these inks, but they went bad a little too quick for my money as well. And these are Dalarani, but they, they were a good purchase. They definitely were a good purchase, but they just went berserk on their own quite quickly. And the dropper sucks, but... Okay, what are we going to get from this? Who knows? What we get from it is something which is better than nothing. Something better than nothing and rice. As long as I get some rice. Dilutions. All right, we're almost done. Kind of want to play without my jelly plate right now and just play directly onto the paper. Can you guys hold this for me? Because I really have nowhere to stick it. Oh, you know what I want to do? Okay, I want to move on to the next step and that for me is going to be putting tissue paper that I've had since 1980 who knows what 86 I have so much of it and I really 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 need to get rid of it so I'm gonna tear pieces and put it on some of these postcards so thank you for visiting me thank you for allowing me into your homes thank you for allowing me the time that I know is very valuable to you and myself. Thank you. And thank you for sharing me if you did with your friends and family and all and on your social medias. If you did or didn't, thank you anyways. And this is part one and I'm gonna call it done. Part one done and then we'll move on to part two when all of these things dry naturally. So I'll see you guys in a few days. Be creative. Leave me a comment and share. Thank you. Bye.